that. He's dead. Where's his uh, carapace thingamadoodle? I don't see it unless he's like lying on top of it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to get the cart before the horse just a little bit and launch the space elevator so we can move into the next tiers, but we're not going to really do anything with the next tiers until we finish our final two uh, steel production products, uh, which are encased industrial beams and motors. Uh, but we're also going to do a little bit of exploration today because I need to get more coal. Um, we have well, iron's uh, fine. We have plenty of iron. All of our pure iron nodes, four of them, are all only running Mark One miners. So we can double those production by just you know throwing some Mark Twos on them. So I'm not worried about the iron, but it's the coal um, that we're going to need more of to continue adding more foundries uh, to our our manifold over here. So this coal right now is coming in at max capacity, 240 per minute, because we have a Mark Two miner on a pure node, <coughs> but um, but we, we need to boost that. So there's a couple ways we could do it. Um, down by our coal power plant, which by the way is running great. Um, let's go down and take a look at that. We haven't been down there in a while. Uh, we have the four, you know, normal mo uh, nodes down there, which we could boost by putting Mark II miners on and double that. Um, so that's, that's one possibility. The only thing I don't like about that idea is that sooner or later, whether we... We might need to expand the coal, is what I'm trying to say. And you know, right now we're we're still we still are doing okay. We're getting closer, but you know, we still have 875 max potential if everything's running at 100. percent um, So it's getting close, but it's it's still fine for the moment. But we might want to expand this down here later. And if we do that, I want to really kind of save the the four normal coal nodes for that. So um, what we're going to need to do then is. We're going to need to see these guys are all running beautifully after we after we changed everything around. It's just uh, just lovely. Love it. Um, we're going to have to find some more coal. Now, I believe that there are more pure coal nodes over by the normal coal node that we tapped into for our black powder uh, sulfur production line, uh, which is up that ramp there. Uh, so up in that area, I believe there's more pure coal nodes that we could tap into. Um, the downside to that, of course, is uh, we got <laughs> we got a long ways to to truck it back here. Um, and I even thought about literally uh, using trucks for that. We will eventually, you know, utilize the the trucking system in the game. But I mean, we already got the ramps run. And it's really just going to be a matter of adding some more belts as long as those other nodes aren't really that far away. So let's go ahead and look at that first and kind of get that determined. And then we're going to come back and we're going to launch the space elevator or rather the products in the space elevator and move up into the next tiers. Very excited to do that. So I'll meet you guys back kind of over at the end of this line and then we'll do a little bit of exploration from there. Okay, so we're at the end of this line here, and I believe that coal node down there is a normal. Let's do a scan while we're here. Okay, so that's the one we're on right now. But I thought there were some more not too far from here. So there's something registering 576 that way and 522 this way. Let's go look at the 522 and just see what's up with that. We need to watch out for our meanie friends over there, but I've got I've got uh, stuff to blow them up now. I guess you would clear that if you wanted to build a roadway through here. So yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go check this one over here. I need to make some. Um, some of the med medicinal inhaler things too. I just haven't gotten gotten around to it. This is really cool, man. It's like a red bamboo forest. I love it. 
There's like a little brook running through here. So neat. Oh, great. We got an alpha. What are you guarding, man? Where's his uh, carapace thingamadoodle? I don't see it unless he's like lying on top of it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it is. Here, let's um, let's just eat some nuts. Oh, he's guarding a yellow slug. Beautiful. Okay, we want yellow slugs. We'll take it. I can't quite get to it from here. There we go. Uh-oh. We got more. It's another friggin' alpha. Can He can't charge through the trees, can he? Ooh. Guess what, dude? Have some uh, rebar spikes in your face. I'm not so sure I'm hitting him. I wonder if I'm hitting the trees. Because, yeah, he's not making any kind of reaction. Alright, let's try this. Okay, that hit. Hey! Alright, if that's hitting, then this should. There we go. Yeah, I know this is cheesy, but I kind of don't give a shit. There, he did. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Red bamboo for us. How freaking cool is that? Alright, that coal thing was around here somewhere. Let's get... Do I hear a slug or something? Okay, let's do another scan. Two twenty nine. Wait a minute, though. Isn't that our other one? Two ninety five. Three eighty three. I think this is the one we just came for a minute. Well, nope. Maybe not. There's the other thing. Hey, can we blow that thing up? I don't want to step on it sometime in the future and regret it. Okay, well, there's that one there. It's these two that we need to be going after. So basically, south. Get out of the way, tree. Okay, let's stay up here for a minute. So I hear enemies. Okay, 190 meters and 333 meters. Oh, that's a giant spider. Um, can you stay stuck in the trees, please? Oh, hey, can we do this? You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Oh, he's does poison. That was probably not a good idea because now he's free. 
Um, well, actually he's not. If he does this little poison squirt thing, we need to get out of the way. We got him. Okay. Whew. Dangerous. Oh, man, that stuff is still there. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, get away from that. So apparently you can't use these on them. All right, we got a stupid Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Mercer spear thing somewhere. I don't even know where the hell it's at. Don't really care either, to be honest with you. Okay, let's uh rescan again cuz I kind of lost my orientation here. 154 meters that way. Okay, let's keep going down through here. This is kind of a dangerous red bamboo forest. Oh shit. What is that? It sounds like a spider, but I don't see him. Oh, there's something over here. It's another spidey stuck in the trees. Too bad for you, pal. Are you a poison spitter? I think we hit him. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I keep hitting the wrong button. I want... I want my sword. There we go. Oh, wow, he hits hard, man. Look at the damage he did to us. Okay. All right, where did he go? He's guarding that. I think there's a yellow slug inside that thing that we can blow up. Is there a power pole? Oh, because I set it there on accident. <laughs> I hit the one key because the one key is usually my main melee weapon in most other games that I play. So it's just a muscle memory thing. I don't know where that guy's at. Oh, there he is. Well, it was great when we could get him stuck in the trees. Can he come up here? Okay, we got him. Whew. He didn't really hit us that time. <clears throat> right, let's get this reloaded. Yellow power slug. And friggin' tastic. Okay. Back to the coal. Proven to be quite a quite an adventure just to get to the, the stuff, man. Watch, we'll get there and it'll be like a friggin' uh, impure. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Let's get some bacon plants while we're here too, because why not? Um bacon plant? Oh no, I can't pick it. Oh, that's sad. All right, what do we got? It's a normal. Shit. Okay. Um, look at this river. It's just gorgeous in this place. Dangerous, but gorgeous. Okay, so this is a normal. Um, if we put a Mark II on there, we'd be able to pull 120. Well, let's keep that in mind. There was another one not too far away. Pretty sure, though, that... Pretty sure there's supposed to be another one or a couple back near the Crater Lake areas that are pures. Well, let's just check this one since we're in the area. It's a good place for bacon plants. 
Anything nasty chasing us? This, this is like Blood Creek. It's actually not, the water's not red, it's just got these red petal things on the top of it. Hey, there's a doggo. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. I have something very, very sad to tell you. We lost our doggo. Um, he was on a platform, and I took the platform away to build underneath it, and he fell and died. That was so sad. <laughs> Didn't mean to do it. it. just happened. Ah, shit, we got another spider. These things are all over the place, aren't they? Looks like he's up there. Let's put um, these down here just because faster healing and all, right? All right, I don't kind of lost my direction, so let's see. I think it's, oh man, that's 408 meters away. Are you sh is that the right one? That's got to be the one that we already are connected to. I think this one is probably. Maybe the one we were trying to get to, but how do we get up there? I guess we can ramp up there, if nothing else. Let's just kind of run back along here first and see if there's just a way to get up there. Oh, look at that! Let's grab it. It's probably being guarded by something. Let's grab it. Quick, 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 quick. Well, yeah! Awesome! Well, this is turning out to be a... A fruitful uh, journey so far. Okay, let's do a scan again. It's right over here. Okay. We got an alpha fire spitter. All right, what do we got here? This is a normal as well. Okay, so we just need to kind of remember that all of the nodes in the red bamboo forest are normals, at least all the ones we've seen. Look how gorgeous that is. Just love it. Okay, well, then let's go back to the area with the crater lakes which is just kind of below our other miner because I think that's where our stuff is so we'll go back along this way there's some bauxite oh shit uh, poison or yeah poison so let's run along through here I'm going to sort of kind of try and avoid the rest of the nasties. Yeah, that's the other normal coal. We can't pick those, can we? Oh, yeah, no, that's just leaves. Yeah, stay away from the poison. So much to explore in this world. Those are the two alpha spitters that were giving me such a hassle when I was trying to hook that up before. Let's avoid them and go around this way. Is this something up here? Nope. Oh no, those those were where the alpha spitter guys were. Okay. So let's go through here. There's our miner. Is this a cave? No, it's just a 
an opening in the rock. Let's follow this little path here. And this should lead out to, yeah, the Crater Lake area. Okay, so I think somewhere around here there's supposed to be some pure coal nodes. Let's scan from here. Those are all back in the red forest. There's something 395 that way. That's kind of a long ways off, though. Okay, well, let's, uh, whoa. Let's see if we can get down here. I guess I have a parachute on me if we need it, and we probably will, because that doesn't look like we can get down safely. Unless, yeah, I don't want to die up here. That's not preferable. Okay. Okay, let's go kind of look down here a bit. Got some bad guys. Blue slug. That is so cool. Okay, yeah, let's go down through here. Let's do another scan. It might be over in that area that we're looking for the coal. Okay. Yeah, there's some stuff that way that's not too terribly far away. That might be what we're looking for. We might as well uh, blow up this... Uh, Blue slug too and get it. Oh, there's a hard drive over there. That we can also look at. I can't use my detonator in the water, huh? I don't know what the range is on this thing. This is a good sized lake. <laughs> okay, well, let's make sure we're at full health. Excellent. Okay, let's keep going this way. We will go over and check that wreck, too. There's an alpha fluffy tail over there. I'm going to watch out for his ass. Actually, we've got to watch out for his teeth. Okay, he was just a little guy. Oh, are these just normals? Yeah, they're just normals.
Okay, what do we got here? Huzzah! Pure coal. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I think there's more than one here, too, right? Yeah, there's one over that way. 59 meters this way. Yeah, it's right here. The nice thing about this, too, is that these are... Ooh, there's three of them. These are a lot closer to the base. Get wrecked. Okay, great. So what we can do, I guess, is go east and just conveyor up to maybe even use that pole. Oh, wait, that's not a pole. That's the tree trunk. Or, oh, no, there is a pole there. Yeah. Okay, we could conveyor up to there. Wait a minute. Yeah, that was it. Use a, an elevator conveyor up to our platform and then just run a, a Mark III line on top of the existing line. So that's that's actually going to be pretty easy to set up. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get working on that, you guys. And then uh, when I get that all set up, I'll bring you back. And then we are going to go launch the space elevator. It's going to be fun. Let's actually check this hard drive out first. And yeah, we got an alpha there. Didn't quite get up in the air quick enough. Oh man, I'm doing it again. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Not good, not good, not good. No, not that. This. Just got to keep kind of jumping until we can get away from him. And heal up in the process. I keep hitting the, the damn one key, th you know, thinking it's my melee weapon. I oh, see, I did it again. <laughs> Muscle memory, man. Okay, use the mouse wheel, OG. All right, he did. Goodness gracious. This is really pretty up here, man. Kind of like a pasture land. There's a doggo. All right, let's go back and take this big boy out so we can see what's in the hard drive. Maybe we'll luck out and find like a really good motor alternate recipe. You're a little janked. All right, where's the big one? There he is. I think we hit him at least once. Kind of got him cornered. Beautiful. All right, let's pick up the loot. Got some plates and some wire and some screws and a computer, it looks like. And a motor. Seven motors, to be precise. That's cool. Anything else? Don't see anything else. Okay, let's see what this requires. Uh, we're going to have to put power down to get it. All right. We'd actually have to put we'd have to put two bio burners down to get it. Do we, can we do two bio burners? Oh yeah, easy. All right, let's put um, that in there. That in 
there. Okay, let's see what we get. Well, we know what we get, a hard drive. We just don't know what it's going to have with it. Okay, cool. We got that done. All right, guys. I'm going to work on getting um, a line set up to the coal over there. I am I'm starting to th think again about the possibility of doing our very first truck line. That would be, that'd be kind of fun. Um, we'd have to get them up there, which we could do with just a long enough ramp. I don't think there's any other way to transport them. Unless we wanted to... Well, there's a couple possibilities. Um, we could see if there's a, a better route going up along there and back down, which I think there is, just because that's the way we originally came up here. Um, or we could try and run a road down through here and then intersect with the ramp going that direction. We do have kind of the problem of the poison shit here. But if I if I did that, I'd run the road east and west and then turn it north and south and avoid all that. So if the coal genie's there, I'd run the road straight to here and then dogleg it to the north. So I guess what I need to do, of course, is I need to have a think about this. I need to consider, I mean, the easier thing, of course, to do would be just to run the conve another conveyor line. But I would like to try out the trucks. Um and later on the trains and stuff too so if we built a road now oh there's a yellow slug down there oh shit um you know we could utilize it later on too i want that yellow slug let's um reheal here to get him to come in the water. The deep water. Then he kind of gets a little stuck. What are you going to do, man? Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, he is stuck. There he goes. Now he runs off. Like a big, big old chicken. Big old chicken. Oh, shit. Fluffy tail. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, crap. There, you can't get me in the deep water. <laughs> Sucker. Can he charge all the way across here? Uh, yeah, it kind of looks that way. Woohoo! Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. The other little guy's back down there. Okay, what I'm going to do is go... I'm going to go around this way and, and kind of just consider some possibilities uh, for a roadway. We've got all of these little crater lakes around here, which is really cool, but kind of a pain in the butt for running a road.
Well, hello, doggo. Okay, we get down to the big water. So, yeah, there's... We've been through here before. Whoa. I don't know. I think, you know, coming through here is going to be more bother than just intersecting with our existing ramp. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright guys, we are back. Um, let's throw our hard drive in the MAM here. Get that going. And uh, then we're going to go upstairs and grab the remaining items that we need for the space elevator. Now I know I'm getting the car a little bit before the horse because we really should have the other steel stuff done. But we're not going to do anything in Tier 5 and 6 until we get the steel done. Well, we'll start, you know, whatever the first milestone is we want to do, but... Um, I'm, I'm going to make sure and have that, those two, final two steel items, um, going before then. Okay, so we've got a hundred automated wire, and we're going to need ten of these. Here, let's just grab two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so you and you can go back. All right, let's go do this. All those in there, and all those in there, and here we go. Tiers 5 and 6 coming up, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. And off she goes. Okay. Cool. So I can see already looking at our objectives that we're going to need 2,500 versatile frames. So since we have it set up, we might as well let it keep cranking away until we get that many of them. Um, and then the other things that I'm looking at I don't recognize. So let's see. What do we got here? Oh, we got to do our hypertubes? We haven't done our hypertubes? What the hell, man? Why haven't we done our hypertubes? Oh, because we're waiting for the encased industrial beans. That's why. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, we can't see what the next milestones are unless we do that. So, I might just make those by hand. Yeah, let's just get them knocked out. It won't take that long. Alright, now we should have everything. So, let's click those into there, click those into there, and click those into there. And it's hypertube time. Woot! Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. <laughs> Note. Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. <laughs> okay. Data thinks we're going to be irresponsible. All right, you guys. Now we can look into tiers five and six. This is awesome. So we got oil processing. Um, and this is going to unlock plastic rubber circuit boards. And I think that's the stuff we're going to need for, um, you know, to make the rifle. Uh, we got the refinery, oil extractors. Okay, so that's probably the first thing we're going to do. Industrial manufacturing lets us make trucks, computers, modular engines, and adaptive units. So these two are going to be project parts for the space elevator. The manufacturer uh, takes three or four parts. So it's like a bigger assembler. All right, that's cool. Alternative uh, fluid transport. Liquid biofuel, package fuel. All right, so this allows us to transport fuel on trucks and trains, I'm thinking. 
Okay, that's kind of neat. Gas mask. Oh yeah, we want. We're gonna want this um, so that we can. We don't have to worry about the stupid uh, poison plants that we come across. And then let's take a look at tier six. Expanded power infrastructure. Fuel generator. Scanner update Caterium ore. What? We can already do that. That's weird. Mark IV, uh, can, oh yeah, Mark IV lifts and belts, that's going to be useful too. Ooh, the jetpack, you guys, yeah. <laughs> we we'll definitely want that. <coughs> Excuse me. And here's the train, nice. Definitely want to play around with some of the trains, that's going to be fun. Pipeline engineering, so this gives us Mark II pipes. Okay, so that's what we have in tiers 5 and 6, lots of fun stuff coming up. I'm thinking, though, that... Well, we should start with oil processing because um, that's going to get us into oil power um, and rubber and plastic and circuit boards, which we need for some other things that we're waiting on. So that's most likely going to be our first milestone. And right, we can select that now. But of course, we have to wait for the pod to get back. And uh, like I said, we're not going to actually do anything in tiers five and six until we finish our last two uh steel production items so i'm i'm still debating whether or not i want to set up a trucking system for that uh right now uh, or just do a conveyor system uh, for now i mean i'm sure we're going to be doing trucking and definitely want to do trains later on anyway so it might be further we might be further ahead just to run conveyors uh to get that last bit of coal over here and finish up our our steel production but I'll give it a little more thought and let you guys know, of course, what we're going to do in the next episode. Let's do one last thing before I let you go. Let's do a scan for oil. Oh, I guess we can't scan for oil until we actually do the milestones. So, um, yeah, and that's what, why we're going to need the motors and the encased industrial beams and all that jazz for that stuff. So, all right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.